Hello everybody and welcome to Social Club. Uh, we're down south this week because the boys have got the Merseyside derby to, to worry about and deal with. Um, we're going to be talking about Arsenal and their current plight. We're going to talk about referees in the Premier League and football in general and some of those decisions like Vardy and Zlatan over the weekend. And we're going to be talking about commentary and the whole Sisu out movement. But first of all, Sam, and first of all, Flav, and first of all, Elliot, I should get you involved, but it's more about these two. United are looking all right. Nearly I mean, as good as his boxers will look and when we come out later on the season. Flav, you, are you panicking? Are you scared what? that the first social club of next year, when Man United finished fourth or possibly even higher, mm. you're going to be doing social club in your pants? No. Why, why would I panic about that? I look good naked. I've got no issue with that. I've been naked on the internet before. Have it's a sex tape, don't look it up. But What's it called? <laughs> what One night in Flav. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? One night in Flav. One night in Flav. In yeah. Flav, yeah. Pretty good flaccid beetle, but <laughs> nothing went in me. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, man. Oh, look, I, 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 I came out and said that uh, Mourinho was finished, and the, and as soon as that happened, lo and behold, like like last season when I said Spurs can win the league, it all just falls apart. It's just I think. I think there's a little Flav curse knocking about. Yeah, maybe, but I think well, I, I started watching uh, Man United properly um, about two months ago because before then I was not really interested I just thought they were going to run away with it and there's no why you know it's, it's like it's like watching any team that run away with Bayern Munich I'm never going to watch them Barcelona I'm going to watch yeah, did they win yeah thanks yeah oh, well, great another one so when United struggling I thought it took some took some interest and in tried to figure out what was going on yeah. um, and they were, they were pretty pony by and large I mean you did alright against Arsenal That's what, start of the season yeah uh, since Swansea we've been really consistent but even before then we had some decent performances uh, then we had some shitters as well we had <laughs> Chelsea 4-0 and we lost Fenerbahce away, we lost Fyne all the way. So what's changed? Uh, not Nothing. It's just been Mourinho piecing his team together and it's starting to click. And that's what, that's what I've been saying. I've been watching, obviously, United all season. And so we're unbeaten since Swansea. We're unbeaten in 10, uh, got three in, a, three in a row in the league in wins. And now we've got Borough and um, Sunderland coming up next. And he hasn't changed much. He's got the exact same team. It's just he's now playing Carrick, Pogba and Herrera. Most games in the Premier League and it's it's working. Zlatan has got over his little barren spell and he's now banging the goals in as well. Do you think a bit like Conte kind of stumbled across, well not stumbled across, but it, he was forced into changing it because it wasn't working and then it's just clicked quicker than he could have ever dreamed of. Do you think Mourinho at the start of the season was going to play Carrick? Uh, well, he gave him, they were talking about a one-year contract extension because he's like 35 now. Um, but it's a bit... It was a bit worrying. in your eyes at the fact that he's 35. Well, no, it's just, no, no, I'm not oh, saying, I'm not saying that in a bad way, but now. prior to Pop becoming, it was like a 35 year old was still the best central midfielder at our club, and we've struggled since Keane's gone, since Skulls has gone, to actually replace that midfield engine. Pop is really doing the job now, mm. and Herrera's really come on under Mourinho. Just as um, Smalling under Van Hal really progresses as a player, you know, Valencia looks great this season at right back. Carrick is, is Carrick. Herrera has really, really improved, and Phil Jones. Somehow is now actually a good centre back. Um, just obviously to get off the Man United wank fest for a second. Um, <laughs> if, if, for about two if weeks. Man United don't win Which the is league. Also a point out, if Man United it? don't win the league, they've failed. <laughs> they have to win the league with the amount of money they're spending on Mourinho, the amount of money they spent on Pogba, brought in what is it, quarter of a million a week spending wages on Ibrahimovic. They've got to be winning the league. So no. it doesn't matter whether they finish fourth or third. By the end of the season, if that happens, Mourinho has to go. No, it's all about progression. And if, Matt, if, if we can finish inside, we will finish inside the top four. If we can finish second this year and build on that and then win the league next year That'll or, be or in the third year. Uh, let us know. I'd be amazed. Is it a failure if Man United don't win the league? Of course Has it, it got to be that much? Still in, for some still in for some trophies as well. You've got the uh, cup competitions. You've got the semi-final. Yeah, we're in the semi-final of the EFL Cup. FA Cup starting in January. Playing St Etienne away in the Europa League. Did you, did you see this coming? Because obviously you still got that draw. Yeah, when we got the draw, I thought United you know, looked awful. I mean, that game itself, you had plenty of chances to win the game. You had, what, 30, 27 shots or something ridiculous. Yeah. And we were pinned awful. In. It was still an awful performance elsewhere on the pitch. We were mm -hmm. so limited. And what you, the games previously you were not looking great at all. I mean, you, I, I can't see the change. I know Mkhitaryan came in and he, he seemed to, you know... Like, everybody has been reply, really, really slating Jose Mourinho about how he's handled this Mkhitaryan situation. Bought from, but bought from Borussia Dortmund, was a Bundesliga Player of the Year contributed to over 50 goals and then all of a sudden he's been frozen out saying what is Mourinho doing but since he came back Mkhitaryan said Mourinho has managed me correctly I wasn't ready he would do that wouldn't he no no why 
What, he, what, is he gonna, <laughs> what's he signing for you to do or something? No, like, no, yeah. no you, you see Anthony Martial's come and said, I'm, I'm annoyed at sitting on the bench. Got to be so honest. But that's also something that you would I, say. I've Jose's s- been a bit of a knob. <laughs> I've, seen exa- I've seen Mourinho do exactly the same when he, uh, second reign in at Chelsea, brought um, Willian. And he didn't play him until a similar time period for, for Chelsea. It was against Norwich away. He come on and he scored and that was it. And then he was in the starting. I think it's exactly the same situation. It just takes a t- bit, t- bit of time to get used to the Premier League. You know, bed them in eventually and carefully. Also get them on the up to date. You know, th- th- obviously in the Premier League, you know, mm. need a bit more strength as well because it's. A but on, honestly, like if you look, if you're looking at United's performances over the last few months, there have been a, a couple of hiccups. We've been really, really consistent. I think if you're looking at the teams above us, I think Liverpool have been yo-yo. They had that Bournemouth result. Obviously, Burnley was earlier in the season, but uh, City have been really up and down. Spurs, you've been pretty consistent. I think Spurs and United are the two most really consistent teams. They're all doing. They're no, all they are. above you. I don't agree with. That. I think that all of the form. Are, I think Spurs have probably been the most out of form actually. Um, only the last two wins have really kind of pushed us back up. But before then, we won like two in thirteen. But you're. Um, I think everybody's doing well. I think what we're all doing a little bit is, is it's all like it's kind of converting to form. So Man United have won I a few agree. games. And you, you and it's good to be confident, and you and you'll naturally start to feel confident. You win a couple of games. Spurs have won two games: Hull at home and Burnley at home. If we weren't winning those games, yeah, who? If, 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 sorry, if we weren't, if we weren't winning those games, have no right to yeah. be. Um, you know, we have to win those games. They're must-win games. But now I think second <laughs> because because I'm <laughs> I've, 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 I fall into the yeah. same trap as everyone else. Uh, what I would say is that when Spurs played Man United uh, a couple of weeks ago, Man United were defensively one of the the best things we played, probably the best, um, and probably one of the best performances against Tottenham all season. They just didn't let us play, and Marine, that's down to Mourinho. That's not down to superb performances because there was no one who was really stand out. Herrera had a good game. Mkhitaryan was boss. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, he was. But, but the, your main, the, the, the effectiveness came all, all from how difficult we found it to attack, and there wasn't one defensive error, one defensive mistake in 90 minutes, and that's so rare, and that is down to the manager. So. If you can, if if you can maintain that, maintain that, I'll very humbly, uh, you know, accept it up. Accept that I was wrong uh, about about Mourinho, but we'll see. Uh, if the one last thing I guess moving on from Flav's point is that you beat and you got a draw against Arsenal, which you played well. You yeah. won that game. Um, a good win against Spurs, which I, I stand by the thought that I thought it was pretty even. Mm. The other teams you played and and, and, and are teams you should be beating. Yeah, <coughs> on on paper, yeah, but we. I'm not just saying this and to you get, do, to and get you. Haven't beaten them all. No, we haven't beaten them. Yeah, but I mean, we're looking at um, at home. Burnley, 37 shots. Heaton literally had the game of his life. That should have been two more points. Everton away. We were winning. Fellaini came on. Decided to give a penalty away. Another <laughs> two points thrown away. Arsenal. Their first shot on target was Giroud in the 89th minute. That's six points where United. If United were as on point as they should be in Mourinho in his last 15 minutes of games. He sees out one one nil leads. That's yeah, what he did yeah. at Chelsea. So that's six points. We would be second, I think, or or there there thereabouts. I think United have just been very very consistent. And I do agree that the teams we've been beating, technically we should have been beating them. But West Brom, uh, they pumped Swansea. Anybody, any team should pump Swansea at the moment. But they look really really good at home this season. And we went there, and that was the best away performance I've seen from United in probably two years. Mm. It was really really good. And now we've got a decent run. We've got Sunderland, Middlesbrough. Hull in the EFL Cup and West Ham before we face Liverpool on the 15th of January. If we can string a few wins together and head into that game near enough level with Liverpool in the league, that's going to be the real marker Good, where yeah. we can see... Because we drew 0-0 away against Liverpool, but that's because we really parked the bus and we had to because they were playing so well at that moment and we were just really kind of down in the dumps. I guess the final thing to, to talk about, I asked you earlier about it, is, um, is Zlatan. He's fucking awesome. <laughs> I, know. And we, I know we knew that, but... I think there was always those rumblings of, you know, been in the French league, he's older now, but he, along with Costa, obviously Aguero's not playing at the moment, they look like, as, as proper out-and-out strikers, he's right up there with them. And do you think that with someone like him, firstly, what do you think of him? Secondly, do you think he's got, got it in him to score the goals to get them that second place that Sam's talking about? Yeah, definitely. He's, he's, world, he's world class. And he has been for, he's been at the very top for... 13, 14 seasons he's won a trophy or won the league in every you know season that he's played. I don't think he'll do it this year. I don't think United will win the league. He'll win a trophy. Yeah. Win a trophy. That's quite possible. But 
you know, he's, he's in the past few weeks he's shown his real class and put some chances away because there was there was a while where people were analysing every shot he had. There was the one against Stoke. There was the there was the few volleys that he had that were going over and everyone was there was a I remember seeing a compilation clip on Twitter and people were calling him out and he's proved them all wrong now. Uh, he's real class, real quality, and back to you, Sam. Are you worried if you know you've got a few key players at the moment, Pogba, Zlatan? Is the, have you got enough cover for one of those? Or a couple I mean, of those that, that's, I was looking at this game against uh, West Brom at the weekend. We didn't have Mata, Martial, Rashford, Eric Bay. None of them were in the starting eleven, and we still played really, really good football. And I was Mkhitaryan is not in there either. So we've actually got genuine strength in depth. Zlatan, we're definitely relying on him for goals, but. Chelsea, you're relying on Costa. You rely on your main striker to score 20 goals a season if you win the Premier League. It's just a given. You're going to have one standout. Kane last season, Kane's last two seasons. Every team who wins the league or is up there has one focal point of their attack. It's how you build a football side. And Zlatan, you know, I was criticising him because he, was, he missed the guilt edge chance against you after two minutes. Had that gone in, it might have been a different game. Mm. Header away at Liverpool was a bit harsh because it was kind of hard, but... Away at Chelsea as well, we were 2-0 down and he had a chance, he, he towered over Aspilicueta, just spooned his header over and he went on like, I think a 5-6 game streak where he didn't score his worst run in like 7 years, then he's just come firing back with yeah. like I know all about 16 up top, John Walters. Yeah. We yeah, struggle about Kane. Uh, one quick request, can we stop calling him Zlatan? It's like calling <laughs> uh, Bay Eric. Or uh, I'm going to start calling him Mitch. Yeah, like just let's call him Ibrahimovic like we do every other footballer. He's not a fucking enigma. It's just too many syllables. <laughs> yeah, it's long, isn't it? No, nah, bollocks. That's so flav. Okay, yeah. uh, let us know. Uh, how do you, how, what do you call him? Do you call him Zlatan? Do you call him Ibra? Do you call him Mitch? Do you call him Gary? Um, what do you call him? Let us know. Uh, we're going to be talking about Arsenal very, very soon. We're going to talk about referees after some uh, dodgy decisions at the weekend mm-hmm. and commentary uh, as well. Let us know uh, with Man United. And the form that they're on, is this going to continue? And will they finish in the top four? And will Flav be wearing his pants? Can you stop saying that? Because people will forget. They won't. They won't now. Hashtag. Uh, you shouldn't have reacted, people would have gotten that. No, they won't. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to Ball Street, and check out all the other videos on Social Club this week. <laughs>